Well, I asked Speaker Mattiello's spokesman what prompted this unusual t tweet storm taking aim at the governor. He said the governor's team started it by going on a tour of local newspapers to, quote, discredit the speaker's plan to eliminate the car tax. Just a stone in people's shoe. The gloves are off. Rhode Island's House Speaker taking to Twitter to blast Governor Gina Raimondo. First on the car tax, Nicholas Mattiello tweeting, I have heard from the citizens of the state and I understand they want the burdensome car tax eliminated. The governor is tone deaf on this issue and should start listening to the people of Rhode Island. We'll cut every Rhode Islander's car tax by at least 30 percent. We're going to find the solution. We're going to give tax relief. Both Democrats are promising a cut to the car tax, but Matt Yellow wants to eliminate it altogether over five years. The governor's office says coming up with the $215 million to do that is a big ask. She has a more modest proposal to cut the car tax by 30 percent starting next year. Mattiello's tweet storm went on to say, what is truly unsustainable and fiscally irresponsible is her plan to make us the only state in the nation to give away free taxpayer-funded college tuition. The governor's plan is to offer Rhode Island residents two years tuition free at public colleges, an incentive for high schoolers to stay in the Ocean State. Her communications director responding to Mattiello telling Eyewitness News, the simple truth is that 75% of jobs coming to Rhode Island require a degree past high school, and less than 50% of Rhode Islanders have that. The governor won't rest until Rhode Islanders get those jobs. It won't be okay if those jobs go to people in other states. And the General Assembly does need to approve gov the governor's free college tuition plan. And now the House Speaker has made it clear he does not support it. The governor, of course, also has the power to veto the budget if she doesn't favor the car tax plan that passes the General Assembly. Live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.